Hello everyone and welcome to Supernova 101 series. Today we're talking about multi-brand design systems. A multi-brand design system is an excellent way to support teams with more than one brand, product or platform. Instead of duplicating design and development efforts, you can streamline your design system to support your different brands effectively. In this video, we will be exploring three different ways to establish a flexible and scalable multi-brand design system structure using Supernova. Let's dive right in with a fictional design system that we've created in Figma. We've called it the Solar System. Yes, we do love a good pun. This system caters to three main brands, Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury. Before we get into the details, let's learn more about Supernova's ecosystem and how that rolls out to a multi-brand architecture. A workspace is the core of your design system ecosystem in Supernova. It is where your team works and your viewers consume the design system. Inside a workspace, you can host multiple design systems, each housing elements like components, assets, and tokens. Each design system can have a single documentation website. Later, I will show you how you can connect these websites in a multi-brand scenario. The first multi-brand setup is using themes for each brand in the system. These themes can be represented as modes in Figma, and with Supernova's Figma variable plugin, adding modes cannot be easier. After installing the plugin through the plugin manager in Figma, just log in into your Supernova account and you will be able to see your workspace. Select your workspace and the design system you want to map your collections and modes into, and then click push to Supernova. After a few seconds, you'll be able to see all of your variables mapped into tokens, together with your modes and your variable aliases, as you can see right here. To document these themes, simply select them in the token block in the documentation editor. In the right panel, where you find the block properties, you can either showcase them in split view or override the base to display the themes individually for each brand. When it comes to other elements like components and assets, all you need to do is upload them to the design system under design data. Be sure to enable the specific scope for each. And this is how you could represent your documentation with a type A setup. If your brands have different asset files and style libraries, this setup is for you. You can add another layer to your design system and neatly organize your design system elements. In your settings, you'll find the option to toggle the brand on and add each brand you're working with. You can then easily access these brands and switch between them in your design system. This creates a sublayer to your design system data, which means you can add a file for each brand and import the styles which will be converted into tokens. This applies to all other elements as well, like assets for example. This is how you could represent your documentation with a type B setup. Our final setup type offers the most flexibility, mapping each brand to a unique design system in your workspace. This allows you to document them individually. Perfect for companies with distinct brands and product lines that follow unique branding and usage guidelines. Set each brand design system like we've shown in our previous examples, then head over to your documentation settings. Here, enable multi-design system navigation for each brand's documentation settings and select the ones you want to enable navigation for. Once you've hit publish on each documentation, you'll be able to access the different design systems through the main navigation. This action also enables URL matching, which means your design system users can navigate through the same content type across different brands without losing context. This works if the page name and the groups match across the different websites. And one last tip. In the look and feel section of your documentation settings, you can edit the overall styling of your documentation. Furthermore, the theme override feature provides added customization and flexibility. It lets you adjust specific elements of the documentation's design, enabling you to match each brand's documentation to its unique style. And that is it. Three simple ways you can set up Supernova for a multi-brand design system. We hope this tutorial was helpful and stay tuned for the next Supernova 101. Happy designing!